Tonight, politicians are heading home from Canberra after a turbulent couple of sitting weeks. There's been no let-up in the opposition's pursuit of Labor MP Craig Thompson over allegations he used a union credit card to pay for prostitutes and entertainment. But today, the Prime Minister tried to deflect the damaging allegations by attacking instead of defending. Shortly, we'll be joined by the Manager of Opposition Business, Christopher Pine, but first, here's political editor, Chris Yulman. One of the few things Julia Gillard admires in John Howard is what she calls his psychological toughness. And even her most bitter foes would admit the Prime Minister is equally tough. We're here today to announce the opening of the next round of the Health and Hospitals Fund. Alas, that wasn't why everyone else was there. We're happy to take questions. Prime Minister, why shouldn't Mr Thompson make a statement to Parliament? So, another day, another week, another month passes where the Gillard government can't gasp enough oxygen to tell its story. And there is a better tale to tell. This is a week in which Blue Scope announced a thousand workers were losing their jobs. A thousand workers. And as a government, we had worked on a response package and we announced it on Monday. Uh, this is a week in which, as a result of those job losses, Australians were concerned about the patchwork pressures in our economy, something that we've been talking about for a long period of time. So we made the further announcement about Peter Beattie acting in an advocacy role to make sure that Australian manufacturing gets the benefit of more work and more jobs. During the course of this week in the health area, the health minister against trenchant opposition has succeeded in her plain paper packaging reforms, a world first. Yet it's all drowned in static. Order, the Prime well, exactly, exactly. Order. Come in, Spinner. Come in, Spinner. Order. Come in, Spinner. There's a single strategic gamble at the heart of the Gillard government, that it will go full term. The theory is that, in time, substance and achievements will trump backflips, failures and compromise, that the blithe reality of a carbon tax will demolish Tony Abbott's fear campaign and, with it, his credibility. But he just keeps kicking away at the government's Achilles heel. There's no doubt that this government has an integrity problem. I mean, wherever you look, this government has integrity problems, uh, whether it be the Prime Minister's promises on the carbon tax, her promises on border protection, her, her promises uh, on the surplus. The most effective lines feed existing prejudices. The Coalition's baseline is that the Gillard government is incompetent and can't be trusted. The allegations swirling around the member for Dobell build on that and add an essence of sleaze to the mix, that the very worst of New South Wales Labor has come to Canberra. Um, the Australian government these days is some sort of cross between days of our lives and the fall of the House of Usher. Of course, the Coalition is open to the charge of hypocrisy, given a Liberal senator is charged with a criminal offence. Who has been charged with an offence against the person and an offence against property. One difference is that the government doesn't hang on a conviction. Another danger for an impatient opposition is overreach. That happened when the chief prosecutor of the Thompson affair, Senator George Brandis, rang the New South Wales Police Commissioner. His shadow minister, Senator Brandis, has been out in a deeply, deeply concerning fashion, ringing, ringing the New South Wales Police Minister to get the New South Wales Police Minister to ring the Police Commissioner. Now, you know, uh, I think when people see that, Senator Brandis ringing up his Liberal mate to ring up a Police Commissioner, why would that be happening? But as the week ends, all the profound problems are the government's. Just answer one Member question. North... Today, the Prime Minister decided she had to attack. But as the Liberal Party sinks in its stinking hole of mud and hypocrisy... And she ripped another page from the Howard playbook, noting he once said that a lot of police investigations ended in people being cleared. Prime Minister Howard was right then. I adopt those words now in relation to the member for Dobell and the Fair Work Australia investigation. John Howard has also noted that once people are convinced that a government is incompetent, it's very hard to come back. And to come back, Julia Gillard has to find a way to be heard above the din. I thank the Shadow Treasurer. I thank the Shadow Treasurer for confirming in this Parliament Prime Minister that they do not care about... 